it's time. Today I will be going over 8 low cap crypto gaming altcoins which I think are great for the next crypto bull market. Now I want to give a disclaimer already. Um, I, I don't know if it's the best time to buy these altcoins, okay? I am of course not sure if these altcoins will survive, but these are the altcoins that I am betting on. And I don't want to, you know, keep it for myself. I want to be as transparent as possible when it comes to it. So let's go over it, why I am so bullish on it, and maybe when I think it's the best time to buy. So like the video if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notification, and um, somewhere in the video i'm gonna just ask you a question if you get the answer right leave a comment i'm gonna pick one person that wins 50 dollars of usdt just to say thank you for watching so let's go over some of these altcoins now why crypto gaming crypto gaming is a niche in crypto which i think is going to be huge because it's one of the few niches that i also think like hey this is something you can explain to an average person um, without making it too complicated. Because if you want to, you know, explain a new layer one or DeFi to your grandmother, um, that's not going to work. Not only because my grandmother doesn't live anymore, but also because they... So fucking karma. They... It's too complicated. People feel like, man, I first have to get crypto in general before I want to dive into the deeps uh, of it. Gaming is very easy to understand and very easy to explain. So crypto gaming is going to be insane mainstream. Um, it's full with people just like crypto who love to sit behind their PC or their phone, um, dive into the tech and it goes hand in hand. So without further ado, let's get into my watch list. The first one is Falcon Forge. And I want to say that some of these coins are low cap, some of these coins are micro cap, some are slightly higher cap. Technically, they are all low and micro cap. I expect each and one of these coins to at least do a 10x. That's not me saying by right now you will make a guaranteed 10x. I expect that it at least happens and some will do way more than that. Volker Forged is a crypto gaming studio basically. It's not a single game. They have a lot of games. They have a lot of good games coming. They are um, working on their own blockchain, Elysium, Elysium blockchain. And they have so much bullish news coming out these days, which is absolutely incredible. Over 300,000 lava is already burned. That's their other token. And that's a big part of their ecosystem. More lava burned is more value for Falcon Forge. Falcon Forge has great tokenomics when it comes to that. And they have so much going on. They are really trying to hit the mainstream uh, these days. And they just have big news after big news after big news news they have great partnerships um, we're on a mission to empower everyone to craft their dream virtual worlds in just seconds ai integrated metascapes makes this possible looks fantastic as well it's not even rendered but it just looks fantastic um, follow their twitter they have so much going on they have their uh, tower defense games it's it's absolutely beautiful and with currently under even a hundred million dollar market cap this could really pull something off if we look at the price of Volker Forge they just had a pretty decent pump now I must say that the pump that they had um, still keeps Volker Forge in the range that they have been in since basically May last year so Volker Forge is almost for one and a half years going sideways but then again the whole crypto market is going down doing staying sideways is good right like that's good right now and that shows you that they will have a lot of steam in the next crypto bull market if you look at Volker Forge on its bitcoin pair i'm seeing something interesting they were in this downtrend making lower lows and lower highs technically they still made a lower high if we count you know this high lower high lower high lower high lower high but i do feel like that you know within that thousand eleven hundred satoshi range is a beautiful entry for focal forge we're now sitting at 1500 so at the moment i feel like man let it cool off a little bit um but super interesting from yeah i don't know if if we dip i think uh this is a beautiful entry uh to be honest 
Next one on my list, oh my god, this is Delysium, and I have been talking about Delysium from day one. If you follow this channel, you got a note from Delysium, you maybe got multiple notes. I have currently 22 notes running, which give me um, a lot of Delysium daily passively. And that's not the only thing that you're getting for a note, so definitely check it out. Delysium is now absolutely killing it. They got listed on BitHub. Um, the Korean uh, markets and yeah once they start do that marketing in uh, the Korean markets in Asia and all of that they, they, they really you know they get their shit together and you'll see what happens they get a, a daily candle just one daily candle of 150% which is absolutely incredible of course from a couple of days ago they are already up 225% it's so easy to push such a coin that high because the market cap is still quite low but the lithium is quality it's pure quality they are more than just a game they are already listed on the epic game store by the way which is a huge accomplishment but they are also ai and a lot of people they talk about ai we have chain gpt we have fat we have i don't know what we have but the lithium is like on the low one of the best ai projects out there and I know what you think, like, yeah, bro, but, you know, the tokenomics, blah, 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 blah. It, yeah, okay, blah, 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 blah. You're, you're right, I can't argue with, blah, 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 blah. but I must say that just a, you know, 11x token vesting, it sounds bad, but if you know how long it takes before these tokens get vested, then it's actually not that bad. Plus, with an upcoming bull market in front of us. If the bull market was now at its peak and we have a whole bear market coming, then I wouldn't be interested in a project with such tokenomics. In this case, I don't really mind, because a good bull market for altcoins always wins from tokenomics. Look at the last bull market, you know, projects would bet. Look at Gala. Gala had like, everybody was like, rule of tokenomics. Gala did how many X's? It was incredible. So they have a 34 current market cap, million dollar market cap, which is still super low. Given their product, um, is it possible for Delysium to hit a dollar with, with this? Like, yes, of course, come on. Delysium has so much stuff going on. Their AI uh, is incredible. You can actually use their AI soon to say because you can already use it but they are upgrading it and you can um, use it in a way that you ask like hey lucy is there a layer zero airdrop coming up yes okay what do i have to do uh, and then do it for me so it can actually farm airdrops for you for example it's insane what they do their game itself is crazy it looks fantastic um it, it, it looks a little bit like Halo. They changed the website, so I don't know where the trailer is actually right now. Uh, I have to uh, catch up on the new website. If you want to get a DMA, you can get it. The DMA, that's basically a node, and it gives you tokens every single day. There's a link down below where you can get it. I have a couple of nodes running, and I'm so happy because this is my biggest crypto passive income there is. Um, even here, I was making good money, and now it's right here. It's incredible. And... Um, yeah if it gets higher then it's only better you can stake the token for a very high apy as well and yeah that's so beautiful about it because um you know there was so much vesting uh, with the dmas and the staking rewards and uh i thought that the price would have crashed harder well it, it actually they they show right here like yo guys if we do like this it's incredible. They got an investment from Polygon. They have a uh, partnership with Microsoft, with Google. Like they are doing on the low. Like you have these projects that um, get the hype, right? But the Lysium is a project that doesn't get the hype, but on the low, they do much better than any other project. And that's what I love. Next one the center of nfts basically to put it like that is altora altora is a project that most people know about but it's still super low cap even the fully diluted is 35 million and this is your easy 10x in my opinion if not more um altora you can find it on a couple exchanges but not much basically like pancake swap of course but you yeah you have bitmart gate it's not really there yet and i like that because they do have the funds and the money and everything and the reputation to list on more exchanges um but i think they do it very strategically 
and they will save the best for the best time. Um, that's what I love. I, I, I don't need a project that now tries to list everywhere to get that hype and has no fuel left in the next bull market. So Altora, good tokenomics, good hype, good product, good community. Um, everything about Altora I love. It's about smart NFTs and they are rebranding the website. They are building uh, so much more. They have great big partnerships out there as well. Um, I really, really love what Altora is building and I think that Altora can definitely do great. If we look at the price chart for Altora, I've bought a little bit at 31 cents. Um, that sorry, 3.1 cents, not 31. Did it ever get there though? Yeah, well, I didn't buy there. <laughs> Luckily, Altura is one of these projects that stays strong during the bear market, right? Bitcoin was doing well since this year. Um, most altcoins didn't. They were holding up maybe a little bit because Bitcoin was, but compared to their Bitcoin pair, they were falling. So therefore, I'm very skeptical about a lot of altcoins because I feel like, okay, what if Bitcoin now goes down? Then these altcoins are wrecked, right? Eltora is one of these projects that, you know, goes with, with, with Bitcoin. Um, I really love to see that. And whenever Altura has a good dip, I am interested. I mean, it came from five cents basically. And at three, I felt like, okay, now it's maybe time to buy some. Can it go to 2.4? Uh, yeah, of course it can even go lower for all I know. But this felt like, okay, maybe it's good to YOLO a little bit into Altura already. You can stake the token as well. You don't get an insane high APY, but it's good because you don't want a big token vesting of course as well. Um, <clears throat> but Eltora, you know, I, I feel like this might be a massive gem and that's kind of what I mean. Like, can Eltora do a 10x? Yes, of course, right? Like everything is possible, but let's say if it does a 10x from here, great. What if it comes down here? then it can maybe do a 30x, right? That's what you need to do in crypto. Not only look at the potential places where it can go, but of course also look at your entry. And therefore I have been so holding back on this channel when it came to altcoins, like wait with altcoins, don't buy yet, um, because most just went down super hard. Um, and if you then can get a good, you know, range to dollar cost into it, then you make a killer in crypto. It's very easy, but not if you dollar cost your whole way down, right? Again, then you have to ride half a bull market to, to play even in the first place. Um, yeah, Altura is that coin that I felt like, when are you finally going down now, right? And I, I now felt like, man, maybe with this pullback right here of around uh, 40%, yeah, it's time to to maybe already start going into it a little bit. Next one is Gala. And a lot of people now might feel like, bro, Gala. I got a lot of comments lately. I, I sold my Gala. Okay, great. You sold the bottom. I'm rather buying it, right? Um, the two founders are suing each other, but it was already familiar that it wasn't going very well between them. So it wasn't any news, basically. Yeah, that they now suing each other was new, but I don't see really how that should impact Gala as the project, really, um, because they still keep building Gala and it doesn't really matter to me. All I know, Gala was just sorry, heavily overvalued. Um, Gala has now a $400 million market cap, which is still super high. And now it is sitting at cycle lows again, right? Um, I know a couple of months ago, I, I said right here, like, yo guys, um, all, all okay, but I'm still not buying Gala. And people made fun of me for that. But if you look at, I have been buying Bitcoin here and then, and now I'm strategically dollar costing into Bitcoin. And that's good because if you look at Gala on its Bitcoin pair, you see that this dip is like, we are not even close to that, right? We are now already down 33 extra percent. So yeah, you can say whatever you want, but I can get Gala 33% cheaper right now. Um, and that's what I did. And you know, when I look at the chart, it still doesn't look good, right? It still just makes like lower lows and lower highs even from, from this year, only going down. So how much more can it go down? Maybe it goes down like crazy more. I don't know. Like, but Gala is here to stay in my opinion. What they build is great. They have Gala music, Gala games, Gala films. I have a Gala film note running. Um, and I think Gala is definitely here to stay. Can it go back to its previous all time high? I don't know. Gala was sitting at a five and a half billion dollar market cap. Um, so 
just going back to its old all time high is more doing a 13x right because if you look at the price chart yeah you could say like oh yeah 70 cents it's now uh one and a half cents that's more like a 30x um but yeah there are now more tokens to circulation very simple so in that case it's uh like really not smart to assume that it goes back to this price uh right here if you want to take that as a measurement right can it surpass it of course but five and a half billion I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, for now, I've bought a little gala, but I, I must say that I am holding off of it. Um, can it go way lower than this? Yes, because still I think 400 million is quite high. Um, but I also think that gala is just a very good product. And that gala uh, should be doing better in the bull run than that it's doing right now. Another one is like slightly lower cap but they are like killing it they just like nakamoto games they have been going crazy and i just oh yeah let's let's put nakamoto in this as well uh, it feels like it's at the same same area as whack me games whack me games is building uh beautiful stuff their tower defense game incredible um their nfts it's like i love what they are doing their vision how beautiful they make it look the 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 work ethics of the team the following that they are building how mainstream they are uh getting with what they are doing if you look at the trailer the cinematic trailer though um so this is not the gameplay trailer but just look how this how this looks like it's incredible uh, how beautiful and I think I'm gonna get demonetized for this I don't know if this is their own music so I'm not gonna play it right now but check it out check out the website I never really spoke much about Wack Me Games but I love it um, also because they the tokenomics are super great like the market cap and the fully diluted market cap are not that far from each other so that's not holding anybody back from uh, buying the token basically they are listed on uniswap gay digifinex bitmart and xt um, there might be more in the coming bull market uh, because wagme is really picking up steam i have a really hard time buying it right now though because i am just personally uh, never i i don't like to buy in the big ass green candle and whack me has basically only printing big ass green candles right so that's the thing that i uh feel like man ah oh, if you bought it here if you if you bought it here 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 anywhere was a better entry and maybe we can say the same in a couple of weeks or months or years from now as well i personally like to wait for it to cool off there's a chance it doesn't cool off and it just keeps on going i don't know about that all i know the project is doing fantastic and the FOMO is there a little bit, I must tell you. The FOMO is really there a little bit. Um, if you look at the price chart, we had a quite of an opportunity right here and that opportunity is gone right now so um i want to wait if we get such another opportunity i'm just diving into wag me and uh, if it goes lower than that opportunity i'm uh, change to dca and uh, then that's my strategy for it but it's doing absolutely fantastic uh, i cannot tell you anything else about that i think i will make a full dedicated video about wag me to explain what it is actually and how it works and what they are building because i I love the product. Next one on the list is Cedify and mainly S Fund, their native token of their launchpad. So Cedify is a crypto gaming metaverse AI incubator launchpad. Um, and launchpads are going to be huge in the bull run. Like new projects release in a bear market but also new projects release in a bull market but in a bull market there are so much money there's so much liquidity everything is pumping people are pumping money into a new project and see the fire release projects the last bull market that did up to a 700x um, i expect see the to do great in the next bull market as well for now the project is just not doing great one it's paired with bnb and bnb is not doing great two yeah People don't really release new projects and three if they do then it's not doing that well right you make maybe a 5x or so um and that's nice but that's not what people expect of you know crypto lunch pads um plus there's a lot of competition and to be completely honest cedify when it comes to how the website works when it comes to the communication lately they don't really have their shit together um but I know that's all noise because I know in the long run Cedify is doing fantastic and this is my biggest holding. Um, 
yeah it's now having a 30 million dollar market cap and it the price is getting quite attra attractive uh, i must tell you from a technical uh, point of view um, it's not looking so good we had this resistance over here in 2021 we had that as support here in june last year as support in january this year again as support in june and now we broke it yeah and now it's a matter of seeing how far can we go down and will this function as resistance once we get back there um i think c uh, could go to maybe 30 cents i don't know uh it could get way lower than that it could never reach it but that's quite my uh between 25 and 45 it's a big range but that's why i'm interested to buy more c tokens um c compared to bnb is also not doing so well and yeah that's quite of a bummer because if you look at bnb bnb is already not doing great itself right bnb is sitting on i don't know what the fuck i've drawn here right but um let's uh <laughs> let's get rid of that for now so bnb is sitting at god damn it bnb is sitting at very professional key support um and if it gets broken yeah then then bnb is screwed but then cdfi can go down really hard as well as it's losing from bnb so we really i i think cdfi on its bnb pair can actually go down another 20 percent give or take before it finds the next big support um yeah if bnb stays where it is then cdfi gets around 20 percent of a hit against its dollar pair but if bnb also goes down see why see the buy right like for now but we should see that as an opportunity uh really because the product perfect um the next one on the list is also uh, it has something to do with cdfi as well that's snfts um cdfi nft space what they are building is incredible so they are building seed world and seed world man i have to make multiple videos about this project alone to uh, let you know what it is but basically you can create your own metaverse in their metaverse and this is going this could be a a sandbox kind of competition um and that's so freaking i love what they are building I have a couple of NFTs. I have their uh, Vanguard NFTs. I have a whole bunch of them though. Um, I do have some mounts of their project. I don't really hear some mounts of their project. Uh, this, yeah, this is my NFT list, whatever. <laughs> but um, now nah, SeedWorld, I am definitely invested in that. And their native token, SNFTS, is going to be their, yeah, their native token. And it's all about burning the token uh the tokenomics don't look that good from the first instance you know five million dollar market cap but 25 million fully diluted so quite of a difference right there um it will never get here though it will never get here uh plus it will take a long time before these tokens are getting vested it's more about burning and now the price is getting really low and this is the type of project that i feel like man this is one of the few altcoins i don't know how low it gets but this i will keep on dollar costing into if i look at the price right now it's sitting at lows uh where it was before and we know that in january they had a pump right they had the pump and cdfi didn't do really that great but uh this one did it more than a 6x right there because there is like basically no liquidity at all so this could pump that hard um and i am definitely interested to invest quite some money in this project myself it's not financial advice super high risk they are building the project is not out yet it's super micro cap c is not communicating greatly lately so of course it is high risk but i personally am willing to take that risk uh, for myself the last one is mvi metaverse index uh, i want to keep this one short this is not a coin but this is an index so if you buy this you can buy this on uh uniswap if you buy this you basically buy an index with all underlaying metaverse coins so if you have one mvi this exists of some ape coin some immutable x render decentraland sandbox axie etc etc so if these coins pump then mvi pumps and this is a really good way to buy one coin and have exposure to multiples right if illuvium does fantastic for example but you do not happen to have that specific coin you can still make money by having mvi um, and that's what i really like about this project 
Um, so I am not really too much in individual metaverse coins. I just buy MVI. And if you believe in metaverse in general, then this is a really good play. Uh, and it's like super cheap right now. This just basically reflects how the metaverse uh, market cap looks. It was sitting at you know 370 dollars it's now 11 dollars right can it go lower yeah of course i don't know man uh, i'm not here to sit and predict stuff right like i don't know how low this can go um i don't know how the crypto market is going to you know look like i have an idea i talk about that a lot but i don't know um and i don't know about you know the metaverse in specific all i know my long-term mindset metaverse is going to be pretty big and therefore you know having a general exposure to that seems like a really smart idea so these are my eight picks well basically nine if you count in nakamoto as well for the next crypto bull run which i think are going to do fantastic now again can the market go lower yes can we get way better opportunities yes so if you buy now can you lose in the meantime yes of course i don't know okay um will these coins die there's a chance some of these coins will die the best altcoins can still die so please keep that in mind but you know if yeah that's the gamble you take in crypto as well of course so if you like the video like the video and i got a question for you if you want to win 50 dollars um the lysium what was the price exactly when i showed it uh, showed it to you on my trading view let me know down below in the next video i will let you know who won and we will stay in touch so you can get 50 dollars that you deserve also if you haven't checked out the patreon yet definitely check it out because i talk about all these things and way more earlier over there so we can really make it in crypto see you very soon guys